Hello, guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. Today, we're going to be going over a pair of pants that is uh, its kind of interesting. I'm not exactly sure like what all builds it would work its way into, but uh, we're going to talk about it today. It's called the Protection of the Prime. Kind of reminds me of like Optimus Prime, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, these particular pants do have an interesting graphic too when you put them on. Um, which is eh, basically kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a big butt piece over here, and then like, you know, like the the loin cloth, and then I don't know, it's kind of neat, kind of like a little skull on it. It's 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 not bad. Um, let's go over the effects on it. Let's talk about what you could potentially use it for, um, where it drops, and all that stuff. So first off, it does have uh, 424 to 457. HP, uh, maximum life, which is pretty standard. 457 is the standard value these days on most equipment. Um, it also has a pretty nice uh, bonus damage after dodging an attack, uh, which, as you can see, mine is on the greater affix of 450% for four seconds. So if you dodge an attack at any time while you're wearing these, you get a nice little additive bonus. It's not going to be the most amazing bonus in the world, but it's an additive bonus that will enhance your damage after dodging an attack. Um... You also get a interesting 13 to 17.5 percent damage reduction while standing still, which is kind of like how part of this item works. It's kind of odd though because these pants do seem like they would be very interesting for a like a channeling build, like if I was doing incinerate or something. And um, of course, the spirit porn doesn't have a channeling skill, so there's also that. The um, ability itself, though, to get damage reduction while standing still is certainly nice, and it combines well with one of the other effects on it. It also gives you plus two to defensive still skills, which if you have a greater affix goes to three, uh, which defensive skills is actually not on pants. Pants is usually um, basic skills. So if you did have plus three defensive skills here, and then you also had an additional like plus two defensive skills on your armor, which I believe is the plate that you're utilizing for defensive skills. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure armor is defensive. Um, I could just like grab an armor and we could go check real quick. It doesn't really take that much effort. So what you do is you just go over here to the occultist, put it in the enchant slot. And then you go to view possible affixes, and yes, these are defensive skills. So you could potentially get even more bonuses to defensive skills by running, say, like, um, yeah, like say if you're doing concussive stomp as an example or scourge, you can get uh, three there, right? And then you can also potentially get a greater affix, which would be four, and you can get three on the pants, which means you can have, you know, four, five, six, seven. So seven, maybe a little bit higher than that if you're trying to get as much damage out of like Concussive Stomp or Scourge as you can. Um, so you could potentially stack defensive skill bonuses there, which certainly isn't terrible. And it's going to give you plus to all of your defensive skills. So if you're utilizing things like Armored Hide, you can get more seconds. Of course, increasing the duration of our, or the skill rank of Armored Hide increases the duration, uh, which is really nice because you also get that beautiful... Um, active block chance bonus of 100%, which is what you really want, because that's going to feed into the redirected force. Um, obviously, Concussive Stomp is going to be damage, and uh, that is certainly not terrible. It also increases the knockdown duration as well, um, which is not bad. And then you also get bonuses to Counterattack, Scourge, which also increases poison damage, and so forth and so on. There's definitely a lot of fun things that you can potentially do here in terms of defensive skills. Um, I've actually kind of designed an entire character around defensive skills, and I might want to consider putting this on that character if I have enough aspect slots, because plus three to my Concussive Stomp sounds like an interesting option. Then we have the actual unique effect of the armor. Um, the unique effect is while moving, you gain 30% dodge chance. Um, after standing still for two seconds, you become unstoppable until you move. So not only are you getting a 30% dodge chance while moving, but you're also getting a unstoppable whenever you stand still for two seconds, which is actually kind of interesting because if you're standing still, you get damage reduction, right? And if say you got locked down with a, um, a crowd control effect. Well, it's going to stop you in your tracks and you're going to sit there for like maybe one or two seconds. If you stay still for two seconds, you're immediately going to become unstoppable. So it's going to break you out of whatever the crowd control effect is. Um, as long as it's not a crowd control effect like fear that makes you run away, um, it will basically stop you from being locked into the crowd control effect just by standing still. Could be interesting to combine this together with like inner calm or some various other aspects that um, have to do with standing still. 
I mean, it's 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 an interesting one for sure. And on top of that, you also get the thirty percent dodge chance, which could feed into things like hubris, which increase your thorns for having dodge chance. Um, gives you unstoppable, so you don't have to worry about unstoppable from other methods. It's an interesting pair of pants. Um, however, one of the main issues with the, the Spiritborn is the Spiritborn is very aspect poor right now. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Mr. Goody Two Shoes, Mr. Goody Two Shoes. Ginger Evil Mentor here. Why bother farming when you can go to MMOEXP.com and simply purchase your items and gold? GGM would have you farm the items. What a pathetic being. Use code GEM, Ginger Evil Mentor, for 6% off your entire purchase. And don't tell Ginger Gaming Mentor that I was here. So, the flavor text on this says, To commune with spirits, listen to whispers unseen, root yourself unto the earth, and let its pulse still the mind. Hear the ancient guardians, they rise to aid you. Uh, Yisavet, the first spirit born. I think it's Yvette, probably. Uh, maybe. I don't know. There's an S in there. So, talking about how this could potentially like work in with the aspects, this, the, the spirit born is just so aspect poor. And it is difficult to potentially utilize this. Let's let's take this to a real case scenario, right? So let me go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to move this over to my Concussive Stomp character. Um, and let's play around with this idea, shall we? So my Concussive Stomp, stomp character is Spiked Hand. Um, and let's take a look at her aspects while she currently has running whether or not she can even afford to use this particular item in her build, right? So I'm currently using a Thorns setup with this particular character, which means that my Razor Plate is kind of just like, you know, it's done. Like, I need Razor Plate to make the Thorns work. Um, I'm also using the um, Kinetic Suppression aspect, which kind of is required for this particular build. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the circular like modification for concussive stomp um, which is one of the defensive aspects so that's unfortunate um i could potentially put that on the amulet i suppose but then i'm going to lose access to my duelist aspect so you can see how there might be a little bit of a problem here working this into the build just simply because I might not have enough defensive aspect slots available to achieve that goal. Um, another problem with this is that I don't really need the Unstoppable with this particular build. So I'm utilizing the Gorilla, and the Gorilla has a aspect that is when you have at least three stacks of Resolve, you are Unstoppable, right? So I am basically always Unstoppable. So the effect of the being Unstoppable after standing still for two seconds doesn't really help me at all. Um, in fact, the only, the main thing that I would get from this, honestly, is the dodge chance giving me a bonus to my thorns through the hubris aspect. Um, as an example, the hubris glyph gives a scaling thorns bonus based on your dodge bonus, right? Um, and for some reason, my hubris glyph is not activated. Why are you not activated? That's rude. Hubris strength. Well, that's just rude. We got what was that? It's to twenty-five. We need one more. There. Um, so in this particular case, if I'm utilizing these pants, my hubris glyph is going to give me more thorns, and it should be obvious um, unless I need to leave town. So I got what three thousand seven hundred fifty-nine, and then moving around. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to leave town to get the buff active. A lot of this stuff doesn't show unless you're out of town, which is unfortunate. Especially when you're trying to do testing and whatnot, you've got to leave town, you got to check things. Like the anti-venom, for some reason, half the time doesn't show up unless you're out of town. Um, but there we go, I've got 6,107 thorns, 5,000, so we're just let it, we'll just let it fall here real quick. And then I'm going to move around, and thorns went up to 4,700. Let's just keep moving, shall we? So... We got what seven thousand and four. That's the highest number that we've seen. 
Um, and let's take the pants off. Of course, we have 514 thorns on our pants, so we're going to have to leave those off. And uh, as you can see, we got, what, 6,306 is our cap now. It's so hard keeping the panel open. That's one of my biggest complaints with the UI. So as you can see, like, the 40% thorns that we're getting there is giving us a pretty significant amount of additional thorns. Um, we're going up to 7,054 from from the 6,000, what, 300, I think, when we didn't have the pants on. 6,176, 700. So a little bit of an additional bonus there from the dodge chance as well, which could potentially work into a hubris, um, obviously, thorns build. Uh, this one in particular is all about spamming Concussive Stomp. It's a fun little build that I put together. Let's head back to town real quick. So, protection of the Prime Pants, where do they drop from? Um, on Diablo 4.life, we do have a little tool that helps you find these. And uh, let's check and make sure that we've got these on here. Uh, so, the protection of the Prime Pants, if you use the tools... Um, Diablo4.life, Target Farming Uniques. Uh, you'll see that they drop from Grigori, the Galvanic Saint. Um, and Grigori is pretty easy that you're going to get Living Steels for that. Um, and you're going to be farming up yourself a pair of, of uh, these. You can also get, potentially gamble them as well. Um, the main unique effect scales based on the dodge chance. And dodge chance may or may not be something that you want. So depending on how you're setting up this particular character, sometimes you don't want to dodge because you want to get hit, and sometimes you do want to dodge. Um, if you're using the Hubris Glyph, obviously you're going to want the 30% bonus. On the item itself, for greater affixes, you're probably looking at the defensive skills as a really strong one if you're setting up for defensive skills. The damage reduction while standing still is okay. Um, a lot of the times you're not going to be standing still on the Spiritborn. It's kind of weird that they would make an item based on standing still damage reduction because I think, like, the Spiritborn is probably the most mobile class I have ever seen. Like, everything seems to move you. Your basics move you. You're freaking, like, you have Rushing Claw. You've got uh, all sorts of crazy things like Ravager, which causes all your core skills to dash you around. And so the damage reduction while standing still doesn't really seem super amazing. Um, the damage after dodging an attack and the maximum life could be very interesting, too, for greater affixes. But, um, I mean, if you had a nice quad pair of these with a 30%, it could fit into just about any build. Uh, if you can spare the aspect slot, that is. Um, which, these days, with all the crazy things that are going on, the resolve stacking that people want, obviously you don't get the resolve stacking with these. You're also going to miss out on an aspect, which could potentially be, like, competing. And, and the answer to the, the question is, is, like, are you getting enough to justify using these? And the answer is probably going to be no in most cases, unless you're going with some sort of build that is stacking defensive skills. Like, for instance, if you're trying to make a build, for instance, around, say, Scourge, um, Counterattack, Concussive Stomp, or Armored Hide, it could be an interesting situation where you stack as many skill points as you can to get these as high as possible. Scourge has a really nice poisoning damage, and it also has some very nice effects, so stacking Scourge could be very interesting. Also, Concussive Stomp has a really nice 600 times multiplier on it, um, which makes it into a very nice damage ability, too, if you scale it properly. Um, and there's a lot of potential ways that you can scale these to get like really, really high damage. Um, unyielding Hits is also another really good one. So if you're utilizing Unyielding Hits, you can get a massive amount of damage that way added onto most abilities. And um, then it's all about scaling the level of the skill and getting the multipliers. I haven't used these yet, though. I have to make an admission. Like, as much as I think that these could be interesting in a build... I've yet to include them in any of my builds, and it really comes down to exactly what I was talking about earlier, which is Aspect Poor. Um, because the Spiritborn has a two-handed weapon as their base, they can't switch to a one-handed and a shield or something like that. Um, because they oftentimes are utilizing unique items in their weapon slot, ring slots, um, and even glove slots as well as the armor and helmet slot, you often find yourself, like, completely aspect poor on these characters. Um, you generally have, like, nothing on your, you know, weapon because you're usually using, like, Wuxia Nakpa or Rod of Kepeleke 
or Cephazontac or something of that nature. And so it's basically just completely eliminating that as an option. Um, or for instance, for the ring, you're using like Ring of the Midnight Sun, Ring of the Starless Sky, um, gloves can be Craze of the Dead God, the, the Fist of the Fate, armor is often Razor Plate, or you're using the Shroud of False Death, um, or Jacinth Shell. You also have Loyalty's Mantle and Ebiwaka, as well as Shaco for the helmet. And so it's very difficult to squeeze this in, like with all of those aspects going on. I, I've often said that um, like this game really needs a way, very similar probably to the way that Diablo 3 did things, is that uh, like a Kunai's Cube that essentially like kind of equalizes it across the board in terms of the number of aspects that you can potentially use. Uh, Kunai's Cube was a, a thing that you could go into town and you could choose three aspects, one offensive, one defensive, and one utility. Um, and you could basically just use those anywhere without actually having to have them on a piece of equipment because they would be in the Kunai's Cube. Um, and of course they could customize it depending on the character, like the Barbarian has four weapons. So... You know, they don't get a Kunai's Cube. Whereas, you know, like the Spiritborn, which only has one two-handed, would get an equivalent of, what, two one-handed aspects and one two-handed aspect that they could then like to balance things out. That way they could keep all of the characters essentially at the same number of aspects. Um, and it's, it's just a pain in the butt, to be perfectly honest. Um, I really wish they would do something with a lot of these aspects, um, especially combining them together to make them more useful. Um, like, for instance, uh, let me just make some some observations. So Concussive Stomp. Um, concussive Stomp currently has three different aspects, or two different aspects for it. It has Kinetic Suppression, which is really nice, and it also has Reactive Armor. Um, you know, maybe they could just take Reactive Armor and Kinetic Suppression and, like, combine them. Um, that would be really nice. Um, the Swarms. So if you want to do the Swarms on the the Spiritborn. There's currently Infestation, Pestilence, Insatiable Aspect, as well as a ring called the Ring of the Writhing Moon. So there's four different aspects, essentially, or three aspects and one unique for the Swarm build, um, including Craze of the Dead God, which could also be included in this. So we're talking about five different things to make the Swarms work. Um, they could very easily take like Pestilence and Infestation and combine them together and make one aspect out of them. Because right now, the number of aspects that re that's required to make the Pestilent Swarm build work is just kind of insane. Um, and that's where I fall on these pants, is that I like them. I'm not entirely uh, against them or think they're bad. But working them into a build is often extremely difficult because you just don't have the number of aspect slots that you need to make it happen. Especially when it's competing, competing with things like Interdiction which is also a defensive aspect, by the way. So if you're competing with interdiction, you're competing with things like um, redirected hits, unyielding, uh, or re yeah, redirected force, unyielding hits, um, you know, the, the main aspects that you need to make your build work, the Jaguar Mystic Spirit Hall, um, and so forth and so on. Like, you're just, it's, it's too much competition for these to really shine, I think. I think that's pretty much it. As always, I do appreciate you guys and girls joining me, even when we're just talking about some Optimus Prime pants. And as always, keep watching.